it's National Medical Laboratories Week, and I'm just thrilled to have had the opportunity over the past couple of hours to meet with the many staff uh, here at Kingston General Hospital who are making an incredible difference to the lives of patients and our aim of outstanding care always. I visited the core lab, histology, the genetics, and the blood bank, and it's incredible the number of steps that are required to ensure the safe, effective, and high quality diagnosis um, for our patients. And the work that the teams in the lab are doing are making a profound difference to the lives of patients. And it's so clear to me as you go and follow the specimen, which everyone here says, no, Leslie, what you're really doing is you're following the patient, which is a, a remarkable focus for everybody here to see all the various steps uh, and the incredible expertise that's required. Uh, these are the machines where we analyze the blood samples from the patients to get the hemoglobin, platelets, and white cell count, and especially for the cancer clinic, where they are waiting for the treatment, you know, so all the death part is done. How much is the white cell count, you know, the leukocyte count is, you know, so that we can go with the treatment. So these are the machines which do that. This is coagulation uh, analyzer and we process PT, PTTs where a uh, patient may be on Coumadin and that's a value that they need. Uh, could be weekly or monthly. We process about 70,000 tests a year and that works out to about 200 a day. This is one of the new instruments in the molecular genetics lab. It's a capillary sequencer and it's all automated. In previous years, we had to do most of this work manually, making gels, doing all our reactions, and we would be able to do roughly six to eight tests every two to three days. With this instrument, however, we can do 150 tests in one day. The setup time takes about a day, and the machine, the way we have it running, we set it up at the end of our work day, and it runs by itself through the night. So we get lots of work done while we're not even here. The bulk of our testing is done for cancer screening, and this is for breast cancer screening. We do the sequencing for BRCA1 and 2. Those are the two common genes that can cause breast cancer. And these days, we are able to do a turnaround time for our patients in roughly two to three months, and it involves about 150 tests per patient. In previous years, that would take us one and a half to two years to get the results for one patient. So the outcome for our patients is a remarkable uh, improvement in their time for getting test results, which affects their treatment and outcome. So I'd like to say thank you to the 180 uh, staff in the medical laboratories here at KGH. Thank you so much for your dedication, your commitment to quality and safety, because you are making a profound difference to transforming the patient family experience and achieving our aim of outstanding care always.